stop popping your gum. I'm Glenn Howerton, and this is something that really pisses me off. Your car smells fine. Stop it with the air freshener, okay? I guarantee you nobody wants it. And the kind of person who does want it, you don't want them in your car, because that's not a good person, all right? Quit it with the fucking air freshener. What are you trying to cover up? What happened in that car? Because that's all I think about. You know, really all, it's, it just smells like it fucking everybody's grandmother on earth like exploded right before they went to church. Whatever you think your car smells like, it doesn't smell worse than whatever air freshener you're using. Stop it with the air fresheners. You jerk. All right, here's one for you dirty fucks out there. After you get done peeing, have a look at the toilet seat. See if you dropped a puke. Just to just give it a glance, you know what I mean? You don't even have to reach down and pick it up. Just blow it. <laughs> just give it a blow. You know, try to blow it into the toilet and give it an extra flush. You know, flush the fucker. God, why is there always pubic hair on the toilet seat? Just trim it. You know what I mean? Or something. Do something. Just don't leave it there. Ugh, fuck you. If you're parking on the street, there's a driveway behind you. You have to pull all the way to the driveway. You can't park and give half a parking space behind you. You're taking up two fucking parking spots. Don't do that. It's annoying. If there was a hell, it would be filled with people who take up two parking spots. Fuck you people. You should be drowning in lakes of fire. Just use your blinker, all right? Even if nobody, even if you don't see anybody, you don't think anybody's around. Just use your blinker, it's not that hard. Just click the little thing, use your blinker. What's the big deal? Are you worried about burning the light out? So maybe you're also in hell, for sure, but maybe you're not bathed in lakes of fire. Maybe you're just like, you know, covered in ice or something. You know, it's uncomfortable, but uh, you're not eternally on fire. Uh, but still, fuck you. All right, this little pet peeve of mine is directed towards my own body. Listen, I know Cheetos aren't good for me, all right? When I eat a bunch of Cheetos, I don't need you to give me heartburn and tell me that they're not good for me. I already know, all right? So quit it with the fucking heartburn, all right? I don't have to bust out a packet of Rolaids every single time I decide to eat a potato chip, all right? Calm down. I'm not gonna, I won't, I won't do it tomorrow, all right? I'll take a shit the next day and we'll be done with it. You don't have to make me feel so bad, all right? I get it. I didn't eat good. Just leave me alone, you know what I mean? Just let me not eat good every once in a while and not have to feel so bad. I'm Glenn Howerton and uh, I didn't eat good. All right, you're the worst person on the planet. All right, I get it. I didn't eat good.